Hello, this is Zach from MyCodeTeacher.com. Today we're going to go over some PHP strings. Got a big lesson ahead of us, so let's get right into it. We're going to start with a little bit about the outline, the basic information on what we're going to go over today. So let's talk about what strings are. A string is a set or an array of characters in PHP. There's no size limit, so you can essentially make the string as large or as small as you want. Um, whatever the computer memory on the server that you have PHP installed on is the size of the string that you can have. String type is native to PHP. Um, most other languages, for example, you have to have a string class like in C++ to be able to even use a string, but it is native to PHP so that makes it a lot easier to use and a little less difficult so we don't have to have any imports or anything like that in order to make a string. Now what should you know before we get started with this lesson? Well for basic strings you just need to know the basic syntax of PHP but as we get a little bit more advanced you're going to need to know a little bit about functions and a little bit about arrays. So now given that we're going to get into what strings can do. Okay, um, Basically you can use built-in PHP functions to join or split strings. You can also replace identifiable strings with another string. And what I mean by that is basically, in simple terms, search and replace. You can make a current string all uppercase or lowercase. And there's many, many, many more things that you can do. You can visit this link here below and it'll give you a list of all the functions of different things you can do with strings and many other very cool things. What we're going to talk about today is, as you saw in some of the options back here, you know, like joining and splitting and, and whatnot, we are going to learn a little bit about uh, making the string all uppercase or lowercase uh, by using this function right here. We can explode a string, and what I mean by that is you give it a certain pattern to look for, and it will split the string based on that pattern. A really good example of that is a credit card number, which is what's going to be our example today. Um, when someone types in a credit card number on a web page, it'll show you know four digits, a dash, another four digits, a dash, another four digits, a dash, etc. And what it'll do is it'll split the string up based on that dash, cut into sections, and then we can actually put the credit card back together uh, so it doesn't have the dashes in there. Another good example would be a social security card or a birthday with the forward slashes in it. So this will be the function that we're going to use. This is straight from the PHP site. We're going to learn a little bit how to split a string and we can split a string using this function and basically what that does is um, cuts a little bit shorter based on the length that we give it. So it's a pretty easy function to do. Um, very useful for news or subjects or if you have an inbox with an email address you might not want to display the whole subject in case it goes too long. The subjects, you know, 300 characters, we don't want to display all 300. We might want to only display, you know, 50 max, so that would be a good reason for that and search and replacing strings okay um, that's also very useful in case you wanna you know edit out curse words or um, if there's you know multiple reasons to use search and replace so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get a little bit into that okay so how are strings displayed there's about five or six different ways that you can display a string most common is echo there's also print the hair doc syntax and the now doc syntax Echo can also be manipulated in a few different ways um, to make it a little bit easier with parsing out certain slashes or whatnot. We'll get into that with some examples. But like I said, Echo is the most common form, and we're going to get straight into those examples right now. If you don't understand what the hair doc syntax is and the now doc syntax, it's, it's going to make a lot of sense here in a few seconds. So let's go ahead and open up our PHP software. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and start by opening up our PHP tag. And as usual, as I like to get everyone in the habit of doing, we need to put our comments at the top, given the programmer name, the date that you're making this, file name we're calling it. I'm calling mine strings.php. Not sure why I did that there and the purpose of the file and the purpose here is to demonstrate the ability of strings in PHP I'm gonna go ahead and end our comment here alright 
So the first thing we need to talk about is the construction of a string. You should be able to do this based off the basic syntax of PHP. After I talk about the construction of a string, it's going to get a little bit more difficult uh, using functions and arrays. So if you're not really familiar with those, you should probably go back and do the functions tutorial and the arrays tutorial in the PHP section. Otherwise, you're free to continue on. So let's go ahead and start with the constructing of a string. Constructing a string. It's a good idea to um, comment this so you know for later on if you need to look at it for a reference. So what we're going to do is, remember variables, always start with the dollar sign, string name equals, then you could put either in single quotes or double quotes. I usually like to do double quotes for a string. Um, and we'll go ahead and make it a string. Just type sentence, characters, letters, you know, whatever you want. So um, we're going to say uh, this is a string of characters. And there you have it. You've just constructed a string. Now, if you're not familiar with HTML, that's okay. Um, but I'm going to make another string that contains a little bit of HTML in it. And that's going to be so that when we display this to the web for our other examples, they'll be nice and neatly separated. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make another string here called separator. And start with another double quote again. And we're going to put a left arrow caret here and br. In HTML, this stands for um, break. In other words, move to the next line. Um, because with all the examples we're about ready to do, if we display them on the same line, uh, would get a little ugly looking. So just to, just to have a nice little separator here, we're going to do that and put a bunch of little dashes. It'll make pretty good sense when you see how it's displayed to the web here in a few seconds. So just go ahead and put um, BR and a bunch of little dashes and another BR at the end. And this is how we've constructed a string. So what we need to do now is, now that we know how to construct a string, I'm going to show you different ways to display a string to the web using PHP's built-in functions. And once we do that, we're going to get into a little bit of um, separating, making them uppercase, lowercase, um, searching and replacing, etc. So now we're going to make another comment here, ways to display a string. And let's start with example one of how to display a string. And this is going to be called the no quotes example. If you only have one string that you're trying to display and you're not trying to add any other little things, you know, like um, um, exclamation points or, you know, two strings in one line or whatever, you can simply just do echo and then the variable name, which in this case would be string name. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our example two, which is going to be single quotes. Now, this is a, this is pretty straightforward, but it can be a little confusing if you're not using um, two different variables in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two variables and I'm going to connect them together with a little bit of text in between to kind of show you how the echoing with single quotes works, okay? Basically, if we just wanted to echo string name, we would simply do echo, um, single quote, another single quote, a period, and then our variable name. And then you just put a period, single quote, single quote, semicolon to end it. Basically, that's going to display our variable just fine. But let's say we need to have more in the same echoing statement. Okay, let's go ahead and make a variable one. We'll call it um, string one equals hello, my name is. and we'll make variable two called name and we'll put your name there okay now let's say we want to combine those together okay we're gonna do echo then single quote and then another single quote and period string one period single quote single quote again period and then name then period single quote semicolon so now that we have that, it would simply show, hello, my name is Zachary. Let's go ahead and put our separator in at the top, like I said.